everybody, DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. This is some Dudes, man. Today we've got 66 FS22 mods of testing. Well, I got three FS19 mods of testing. And we've got eight modders to talk about today. And one of them is Michigan Farms. Let's check it out. In testing for FS22 on PC, we have the 53 foot drop tech trailer, additional field info, Agrizy wholesale, Amazon 800 kg transport box, Beehive pallet spawner, Big Bags XXL, Comsden Farm and testing now, Case IH Slice Weight, Case Maxim Series, Case Puma, Case IH Puma, ooh, Plazarian 3000 Series, Toys Far 4080, Elho JM2 Round Bell Fort, Farmhouse, Farmhouse, but again, Ben 700 Vario Gen 6, Orchard B125, Orchard HW80, Greenhouses with Seed and Fertilizer, Remy Rexer 3600 Platinum Rosho, LED Headlights, Honey Pallet Station, HW80 Trailer Pack, uh, again, Integrated Exact Rate 8 RX Tanks, JCB 325T, John Deere 4755, 4955, John Deere CP770, John Deere CS770, LED lamps, lift pallets and bales, lizard farming pack, probably a bunch of three meter stuff. Lizard Short Timber Trailer, Lizard ST16000 Sea Tender, Lizard U Plow, Massey Ferguson 7600 7700 Large Chassis, Metal Tech WP8, New Bartle Shotgun, Novacat 301, and the X8 Varia, Old Shed, Only Sleep at Night, Pack John Deere 600 FD and 700 FD, still in testing, Pack Multi Fruit Container, Power Cut by Xerox, of course, Wiki Console, Ravy Verk G6260, mess that one up, Road Rage, Scooter, Zippy M. Multipla S9, Shed, Silo Multi Snow Bucket, Small Flatbed Trailer with Solar Field Large and Small, Storage Piles for Earth Fruits, and Tip Side HUD, Traffic Signs Pack, Versatile Four Wheel Drive Pack, oh yeah, Water Pack, Wood Harvester Manual Cutting, and Yara Fertilizer. It tested for consoles for FS22, we got the Brush Cutter, Forge Cruiser 12XL, Boon Heinrich EFG S50 Telefork, we got PD1500, Repair Place, and the Rudolph DK280. RA. And we do have a meow, blue, blue, flip, <clears throat> leaving that one in. We got a few mods of Dusty for FS19 for PC. We got Combine Experience, Massey Ferguson 9400S, and the package of premium pallets and bales. All that being said, we've only got 1,237 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and Giants think it's going to take nine work days. I would disagree. Let's start off today's news with 82 Studio and an update to the mods that he's currently got with Giants waiting testing. Starting off with the TLX Phoenix series, which is the mod I was talking about that has the auto load pallets of all kinds for console players. And it also has auto loading bell configurations and tons more. You can even make it a dump truck if you want. I can't wait to show this to you. He's also got his 20 foot gooseneck trailer back from Farm Sim 19. This is the mod that started it all for David Omada. Another one that's pretty sweet is this Seed Runner 3755X. L. He actually submitted this and Giant said that Unverfirth is a licensed brand, so we changed it up to that. Now it's back in testing. And lastly, we got the TLX 2020 series. This is back with Giants, hopefully for the last time, and has all the customization and attachments that you're used to, with a few extra surprises for you. Stay tuned for these mods and more coming soon from 82 Studio. Agrimods have officially released their Scania S and R new gen semi trucks over on Media Fire for PC players. And they say that they're a little bit too heavy on computers. So be aware if you're playing on a lower system, you may have some problems. As for console players, they're still working on the Scania Streamline, which will likely be the Lizard Streamline ready to go for Mod Hub. If you're on PC and you would like to download these, check the link in the description. And if you're on console waiting for the other mod to be released, I'll be keeping you updated on all the progress as it continues. We also get to hear from Agritono today, who shows off their upcoming auger wagon from Stara, the Reboot Ninja 40,000. It's got a massive capacity. You're definitely going to want to use something big for this bigger tractor. They do say that while they wait on their other mods to be tested, this is their next project. And as you can see, they're moving along with it very quickly. Speaking of those other mods that they mentioned, you can see if you own this list right now that you've seen on the testing list, like their CP and CS770 cotton harvesters. We've also got the 600 and 700 FD headers. Then there's a few that we only saw one time on the list, like the XUV. So we're just going to have to wait and see when we get those. This list that you guys are looking at right now was updated 12 days ago, so do keep that in mind. This testing list has been very hard to predict since Giants returned from the holiday break last week, but I'm sure once we get closer to maybe like 100 mods down or something like that, it'll be a little bit easier to predict. So Vertex is back working on a mod that they released in Farm Sub 19 for all platforms. 
The Gasper EHD Plow. This is a 5.5 meter working with plow. Has a normal working speed. I think it's like 13 kilometers per hour. I think that's about nine miles per hour. Uh, but it does require a lot of power. 380 horsepower to be exact. It's only 35 grand, so it's not too bad, especially if you get a larger tractor. If you want to download it for Farm Sim 19 to check it out before it releases on 22, check out the link in the description beside Gasper EHD. 40 Modding also bring us another mod back for Farm Sim 19, the Smith Triaxle Supercube Pro. I know this was very popular in 19 among realism players, as well as players that just like using high quality mods. This mod was released for all platforms in 19, so uh, if you want to, you can download it now and you get an idea of it. I will link that in the description below. But they do say this. They say um, no release date or platform information at this time. That's something that they normally and typically say when they're just getting started on a project. Either way, it's great to see another awesome mod returning to the game. Ada Modding's back with us today to announce a new project that he's helping friend of the channel Stoneway design on, the Tunnel Shed. These are great for belt stacks or larger equipment like cedars, which currently we don't have any of, and uh, mainly semi-trucks and big trailers that you don't want to unhitch from each other. They certainly have their place, and I miss having them in games. One of the things I wish we had. They even got a snow roof. That's pretty awesome. Uh, this one's going to be uploaded to Giant soon under the Stoneway Designs Day. We got a few updates from Puma145 today saying that their Water Fountains Pack, the Zuzini Map, and their Manure and Slurry Dealer Packs are all in testing right now with Giants. But, as you saw from the testing list today, none of these three were on it. And this was picked, posted yesterday, so do keep that in mind. But I'm not sure what's up with that. Perhaps they failed, or maybe they all passed, and we'll have to wait for them to release. Um, this did drop, uh, the testing list rather, did drop about two hours later than normal today. So a lot could have happened between yesterday when this was posted and today when the testing list was posted. Either way, these are three more mods that you can look forward to from Puma 145. And lastly today, something special that's going to make players very happy, at least PC players. Michigan Farms is coming back to the farming simulator franchise. They say that they'll be bringing us updates on the map as it moves forward, and I'll be keeping you guys updated once they do. No T or ETA has been established yet. There's been no decisions as to the, if this is going to be PC only or if they're going to try and bring it to all platforms. I know console players want it to be all platforms. I'm sure PC players want it to be PC only. For it to come to all platforms, it did say this, a lot's going to have to change and they're not sure if they want to go through all that and take away all the special things that make it what it is. Either way, get hyped because one of the most popular PC maps from Farms of 19 is making a return. And today's segue to the outro is more of a self-worth statement than a segue. I told you. Just like every episode of Farms of News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If it did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about today, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. I'll be Zeb. Hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace. Kind of hard to spin around in this chair right here. <laughs> I had to replace the old one. It was terrible.